Not Diablo 4, please. I think that we might be done with Diablo 4. I haven't completely decided yet. I might try it again off stream. But I just, uh, I, I, I don't want to do it. Can I keep playing then? I'm not playing. I'm done. How it all started. What up? We back at it. We back in it. All right, we're gonna finish up all the renown today. It's a big day. Uh, I mean, I don't want to, but we have to. It's a fucking requirement in life. Ooh, I've got an item in my box. What's my item? Right. The reason how I got all these items is what I do now is every single time that I'm going to go to sleep, I just put my character at an event spawn and then I just leave the game on. Let's see how we're doing on our battle pass. I thought we had one of these. Oh, I already learned it? Wait, what? Oh, the next one I guess is at 60. Oh, there it is. I thought I had one. 7%. Wow. That's amazing. I'm so lucky. Okay. Let's go. I probably should have turned these into... Uh, uh, aspects, I just didn't think of it. It is what it is. I also have a replacement. I got this. Uh, you can apparently have one that has one enemy. Just kind of nutty. The 80 to 90 cosmetics are worth chasing. How could a cosmetic be worth chasing? It doesn't even matter. It's a single player game, basically. Like, I don't know. Let's see what Conrad has. In Orbe, we saw that the cages of binding came from Zakarum's stronghold in Hauzar. There are three nearby that might hold answers. If you find anything, please bring it to me. Great. Okay, I've got to go do some stupid quest. I guess I have to go over there. Yeah, we'll knock some of these out right now. Cosmetics, no matter an isometric game, it's got to be really flashy like PoE. Yeah. I mean, I just, like, I don't really have a lot of, like, I don't really care a lot about, like, cosmetics that you can buy. I just think, like, if you can buy a cosmetics, it's like, it doesn't really count, you know? It's not a real cosmetic. It's not a real item. Cause like this damage increase affects my minions too, right? It's got to. This game isn't that bad, right? Um. I I I mean, look. Here's one way to look at it. All right. It is what it is. That's the best way to look at it. Yeah, it's an above average game. Yeah, I think the game is uh, uh, I, I think it's it's good. I mean it it's not the thing is like 
it's so it's so hard to talk about this game because everybody that talks about the game has like a fucking like a there's like a, a like an opinion that they're trying to like push. Oh, Helltide just came up. Let's go do that. Actually, I mean, honestly, I don't need to do Helltide. I need to do my fucking Renown. I need to do my Renown and get to tier four. Then I can think about Helltide after that. Fuck Helltide. Let's let's just do that later. We need to get Renown done, and it's just a, a season quest line. What's in game for the season? I mean, the same thing it always is, right? I mean, just kill the kill the mobs, get the stuff. You know, it's that simple. Maybe it's over this way. It's gotta be over this way, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. What the fuck? There's like three things to click on. I clicked on the wrong one every time. I guess I'll buy some uh, some rolls too. Barb nerf is so bad. Wait, I got more items. Why does it say I don't? Why does it say I'm missing an item? What the fuck? Did I get another legendary? I didn't even see it. Oh, I got a dark banner trophy. Wow. Cool. I got, I got a cool little item. I guess I should pick up some of these quests too. Actually, let me just do the the dungeons. I don't want to do any more side quests. Barb with Barber Heart? Well, I mean, the Barber is like just... the. That's not something that's good for Barbarian specifically. It's just good for everybody. Like... Uh, Jesus fuck, man. Um, like, it, it's good for every class. That's my understanding. It's not like Barbarian has some sort of, like, advantage with it. Like, I've seen people use this shit, and it's just insane. Fair play. I mean, you can't win them all. I'm not worried about it that much, but it is what it is. Let's go open you up a cool dungeon for the heart and item farming. Okay. Okay. Oh, I didn't read the quest. Oh, I have to go up there and do that? Well, I guess I might as well then. Well, let's go ahead and do this one first. Yeah, I, I usually don't read the quest. Uh, if, if, like, I just go to where the green area is. That's about it. Bloodlands Necro, Wrathful Heart absorbs damage, creates an AoE, seems pretty insane. Bloodlands is just really good in general. Like, I've, I've seen Necromancers that can just, like, one-tap an entire pack of, like, level 90 mobs. Like, uh, like, Nightmare Dungeon 100 mobs, or 90 mobs. So it'd be, like, 144 or something like that. And, uh, just do it, it's not even a big deal. It's important they'd voice it. To be fair, almost everything in uh, in Diablo 4 is voiced. Like, that's one of the things that they do really well. I think the game has a lot of those, like, kind of... It's like if you're trying to think of, like, important things that games need, like, you know, voice acting, etc. Like, Diablo does a lot of those pretty well. Like, the campaign is good, it's got cutscenes, you know. I mean, does it have, like, that same... That same excitement that, like, you know, maybe people had with Diablo, even Diablo 3? Probably not. Like, I... 
I said this before, right? I think that anybody that thinks that Diablo 3, like Diablo 4 is worse than Diablo 3 is fucking insane. Like I think Diablo, Diablo 4 is like way better than Diablo 3 and it's not even remotely close. But, um, you know, doesn't make it perfect or anything like that. Greater Scythe, okay, this could be a good one. It's not. Joseph Pioro's tweet adding stash tag. Yeah, I uh, I saw the tweet. I made a video about it even. I uh, I'm really glad that that it happened because I think it gives people like a good insight into like, you know, people are always like, oh well, there's probably some like really complex, super necessary reason that like the game is coded in a way that you can't do something that should obviously happen. And, like, I'm just really glad to see people that always, like, make that appeal to authority see, like, it, it's just, it's so obvious that this is fucking stupid, right? And I, I love seeing it. What's your luck with mount bardings? I don't even know. I, I don't even know what, what mount bardings I have. This is a seasonal ARPG. Yeah. Bloodlands, Bone Poison, it's a better build. Yeah, I want to go this build, that's why I'm here, doing this one. I mean, if I wanted to play a better build, um, you know, I, I just would do, I would play a rogue. Rogues are apparently OP. No more Remnant. We'll be doing Remnant very soon. I've wanted to play this because I just want to play the new season. As I said, I know that this is upsetting for a lot of people, but I am enjoying my time playing this game. And so, uh, I'm going to keep playing it until I'm not enjoying it anymore, at which point I will stop playing it. Vegito Rogue wasn't strong enough. No, I think that like I think that that happening to Vegito was like so good for him, because like now everybody's talking about him, everybody's thinking about him. That's like so good for him. It's better for him that his Rogue died to a disconnect than if he got World first. Where's new ARPG? People who are new to ARPGs, would I recommend Diablo 4? I mean, I would recommend Diablo 4 to people who are new to ARPGs more than people that aren't new. Like, it, it's definitely the most new player friendly ARPG. Well, I can't say that because I haven't played Grim Dawn or Last Epoch. I'm really just comparing it to PoE. But I think that the, I, I think PoE is like very new player unfriendly, and it does so in a way that I don't think that there's really a like there's not an improvement to the game being made because of that. I just think that it's unfriendly to new players, and that's it. And I I wish that they would kind of improve that.
What's in your opinion is a better game? Um, comparing PoE and Diablo 4. PoE has, like, obviously a much better endgame. I think it's kind of obvious. Um, I think Diablo 4 is a better game for casual players. Like, um, you know, if you're... If you don't have a lot of time to play, or you're new to the genre, I, I think you'll probably get more out of Diablo 4 than PoE. And, like, you don't have time to, like, look stuff up. Because I, I don't think you can really, like... Like, of course, anybody can, like, you can, like, but it's just you're going to have a really bad time doing it, probably. Unless you just happen to get very lucky or you have some form of prior knowledge. Um, I, I think that really if somebody goes in there and they start trying to play PoE, like, as a completely new player, they're not going to have fun. Like, ultimately, that's just the truth. They're just not going to have fun. And, uh... Like, there's a lot of things that PoE does incredibly badly. Like, for example, um, I think there are too many different defensive layers in the game, and it's not intuitive as to which one is necessarily better. And, um... Like, things like evasion, for example, are, like, also not intuitive. Like, you, a, a reasonable person looking at evasion would probably not... Uh, that's kind of good. I mean, I, I don't know. I think that's good. Ooh, I get that. That's huge. Big, 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 big. Okay, great. You got a caught block, too. Yeah, there's spell block, spell suppression, resistance. I think that's too many things to do the same, like, I think that those, all of those things effectively do the same thing. Like, they, they reduce magic damage taken. And that's not even counting, like, health, which, of course, also effectively reduces, you know, like, it makes you better at surviving it. That's how it does it? Yeah, but I just don't really think that... Yeah, of course, right? I mean... It's like you eat corn the long way or the short way, you're still eating corn, you know? Too much overlap between effects. Also, like, I don't think that, like, I think that the best example that I can use of PoE having, like, new player problems is so, you know how, like, vulnerability is, like, a multiplicative scalar? Well, there's a lot of things in PoE that are multiplicative scalars, and... The ones that are, are multiplicative scaling say it like it does more damage, like, oh, your ability does, you know, 30% more damage. And so, like, if you have 200%, that's 260% because it's multiplicative. But if it's additive, it says it does increased. So, like, in no way in the English language, as far as I know, would that be intuitive to understand the difference? That a player a player would not be able to intuitively understand the difference between those two things? Lots of wordplay with stats, yeah. PoE debuffs, people get immunities too. Yeah, like, I'll also have like a very, maybe an unpopular take for PoE players. I think that the fact that, I think Corrupted Blood is stupid, and it shouldn't be in the game, and it should just be replaced with Bleed. And, especially Corrupted Blood, like, uh, that's applied by, like, Cirrus's beam and stuff like that, I think it's really dumb, because, like, what's functionally the difference between that and the Bleed? There is none. So, I just don't think it should be in the game. It's like it's stat bloat for no real improvement on the experience of the player, I think. There's vine types you're not immune to whenever you're immune to vines. That's, that's cute. I just literally ate his dick.
I did. Do y'all see that? He's done. Damn, that's a good one. Look at that. Holy fuck. Am I still buying boots for the major aspect? Yeah. Yes, I am. I'm gonna get it next time for sure. Oh, I guess we'll probably go do this. Might as well. Yeah, take care of it, boys. Let's go. Do I get experience whenever he kills him? Yeah, I do. Okay, great. I don't have to do anything. POE's biggest issue is the way they present the player character build as part of the game. Yeah. Like, a, a good example is, like, um... Uh, or at least, like, another way to put it is... Like, I think that you should be able to respec for free with no restriction and no... Like, you should just be able to respec for free, period. Like, literally no fine print, no exceptions, no anything. You should be able to respec for free whenever you're in the campaign. And before you complete Uber Lab, I think. And, like, whenever you complete your Uber Lab, it's like, that's like whenever you finalize your character. Because I think there's a lot of people who play PoE and they get halfway through, like, I think that there's, like, I think there's a number of, like, quit moments in PoE, right? And I think that one of the biggest quit moments is probably Act 5. Is it Act 5 or Act 6? Whichever one, whenever you go back to the docks. Or not docks, not Orion's docks. Whenever you go back to um, Lion, Lion Eyes Watch uh, in Act 1. I think it's the, the redo of it. I think it's Act 6. And, um... Oh, fuck. Shut up. Why are they doing damage to me? That's why I reset if I'm not enjoying the build. Well, it's like people don't understand, like, how important resistances are. And then... Then they, they, they play and they just get demolished, right? Because they, they have negative resistances and then, like, you know, right after that, you go and you fight uh, Tukohama and, uh, you know, he does a ton of fire damage and so they just destroy you and then, like, there's those two mini bosses that do a lot of fire damage to the Burning Queen or whatever the fuck her name is. So, like, I think that's, like, a really big... Uh, really big quit moment for PoE players or new PoE players and I don't think that like for example the sun and the moon boss uh, I I think like yes but no because like yeah Solaris and Lunaris like they're very hard but also you respawn right outside their door and you can death march them until they're dead so, like, and also after you kill them, you go straight into Blood Aqueducts, which is, like, the best leveling in the game. Right? So... I, I think that definitely to a lesser extent. But what I mean is, like, quit moments. Like, the reason why I'm, like, the way I'm classifying quit moments are things that, as soon as the player does this the player realizes that they've made some form of some form of decision that they can't easily reverse so like and then the player like you know the first thing they do right is they realize they made a bad spec it's like okay well i made a bad spec well i'm just gonna respec and then they look okay well how do i respec and it's like all right well how much are orbs of regret and then they see how much they are and it's like, oh my god, like, I, I can't do this, like, I don't have the money for this, how am I going to farm the money? My character's bricked, right? And then they think about re-leveling the character, and before you know it, they're thinking about playing another game. And that's what I think happens. Like, obviously, Grinding Gear Games has the, the data, but that's, that's, like, I, I think that's logically what happens, right? I mean, I don't think that you necessarily need a lot of data to to come to that obvious conclusion. So... There we go. 
New 75 realized the build you're following is discontinued because they made a passive tree change to the patch. Oh yeah, I mean obviously like you have problems like that for sure. Like where people are playing a build that's bad. But again, like all that stuff would be kind of, uh, you know, not as important. That's exactly what happened to me. Yeah, I think it does happen to a lot of people and I don't think that that, I don't think that kind of experience, like, there are negative experiences in video games that add to the, that add to the narrative of the experience. And I think that, like, you can use some examples, like, getting cursed in Dark Souls 1, uh, something like that, uh, where it adds to the experience. Because it's like, you can still play, but you're a lot weaker. You can go buy a stone, but it takes a while. So it's like, it's a pain in the ass, but it's not so much of a pain in the ass that it just completely ruins the playthrough and like the amount of time that it would take to undo this would be longer than the amount of time that's spent in totality of the game up until that point. You see kind of what I'm saying? Standard characters get that option after game changes? Yeah, they do. It's fine, it's something you can come back to, yeah. Like, um, getting taken to, uh, another example was being taken to... Don't remember the name. Uh, the place in Bloodborne that the big guys take you to. That Dark Beast Parl is at. Yarangle? Yeah. Like, being taken there is obviously a fuck-up, and you're clearly underleveled for that area, and you're gonna get fucked, but you can get out of that area eventually, right? Like, you, you can get out of there. I think that's the difference. The bag molesters? That's one thing. That's one... Yeah, you could call them that. Boots. Oh. That sucks. It's actually a really good item. Look at that. Mm. Dark Beast Parl is annoying as fuck. Yeah, I think Dark Beast Parl sucks. I know, like, um... Uh... Miyazaki said that that's, like, one of his favorite bosses. It's like... I don't know, like, maybe the lighting is different in, like, Japanese monitors or something. Or, like, TVs, because, like, I couldn't see shit in that fight. <laughs> like... Like, it, it, you just can't see shit in the fight at all, and so that's why I don't like it. Wait, no? Oh, that's the whole quest. Oh, okay. Alright. Well, let's go do this. Herbot Stoops. Yeah, I did. I saw Khan's gonna steal every bit of Diablo hype. I just, I don't think that's gonna happen. I think that Path of Exile has always, and at least until PoE 2, will always be a, ca a game for, like, extremely serious players. And people that, like, people that want to play ARPGs a lot more. No main spawn. Yeah, I mean, in PoE, like, in my opinion, I think PoE is the best ARPG on the market. Uh, but that's also because I'm a, uh, I'm a pretty hardcore player whenever it comes to ARPGs.
Okay, let's go do the other ones. And I also think that for all its problems, Diablo 4 has better visibility than PoE. But I don't think that that's actually an advantage that Diablo 4 has. I just think that's an outcome of PoE being out longer. I think that if Diablo is out for as long as PoE, it'll have the same visibility problems. They sponsor you for ExileCon stuff next week? They shouldn't. I'm gonna watch it for free. I mean, let's be honest. Looks like I can't find this next thing here. Maybe there's another one over here. Yeah. Missing corpse tendrils? Yeah, uh, I am. Hmm. I guess I didn't do one of them. Okay, let's find out where the last one is. So I did the one right there. There's not one right here. This is so janky. Oh, it's right here in front of everybody. Survive the cultist onslaught. What onslaught? as PoE doesn't explain anything, casual is new player, so it's intimidating to learn. Well, it's also that the amount of complexity in PoE is extremely high. Like, it, it, it's really just that simple. Like, the game, just there's a lot of stuff in the game. And it's like, th like, there are people who they see the PoE skill tree and they see it as a challenge, and there's people that see the PoE skill tree and they see it as, like, I don't want to play this game anymore. Like, th it's like it's a, it's a non-starter. And I think that's fine, like, that's not... And, and, like, I don't feel like either of those people are, like, really wrong. Like, it's not like they're bad people or stupid or lazy because they don't want to do it, it's just that... You know, some people just don't give a fuck about that kind of stuff. They just want to play, like, more of an action-oriented game. Like, I, I know that, like, for example, for Final Fantasy 16, a lot of people criticize the game not having a lot of RPG elements. Well, I said, fuck that. Why the I don't care about RPG elements. I just want to kill some stuff. Where's the boss? His name's Diabetes. It's over. Nope. Bad item. New player perspective, I've played PoE the first time this season. After following spreadsheet, not understanding what you're doing. Uh, the whole thing made it very boring. Yeah, I, I and I think that like really, like a lot of my, 
like my feelings on PoE is like kind of not really shared by a lot of the player base. Like a lot of the player base kind of pretty strongly disagrees with like my outlook on the game. But um, that's just what I think. Okay. We need to go to the top. Let's get cult leader. I really want to get this. That's literally like a 45% base damage. That's going to be so crazy. <gasps> Disagree on your outlook on everything, but I'm still here. Yeah, I mean, I, I just... I think most players agree with you. PoE just has some hard-headed fans. Well, it makes sense, right? Like, it, it's again kind of like what I've, I've said many times, where there's a lot of people that, like... They, like, they view, like, the fact that they've stuck around with a game as, like, this is, like, a badge of honor, right? And they've learned all these things about the game. So, like, they don't want to see somebody make the game easier because, like, they feel like they've earned the knowledge that... that's enabled them to succeed. I'm not saying you are casual, but you're not. You provide the casual opinion on PoE to a non-casual player base? Yeah. I mean, I just think that, like, and this is obviously a decision that Grinding Gear Games has to make, right? It's like, do you, and, and I think that Chris Wilson probably won't even really make this decision, but I'm, I think that they're, they're going to compromise on a few things in PoE 2. And this is like coming as somebody, like, I have no inside knowledge about PoE 2 at all. Um, like, they haven't told me anything. I, I have no idea. But I think that they will make the game easier to understand for new players. But I think that that's also just going to happen by the nature of the fact of it being like a, a number two. Because a lot of things are going to get reset and changed. We don't really need boots. Oh, let's go this way. The fact that they'll reset the game completely is a good thing. Well, I think that PoE resets the game every three months. Like, I don't think the game needs a reset in that way, but I think in terms of, like, uh, bloat... Like, I'm gonna give some pretty unpopular opinions, okay? So get ready for it. I think they should delete Expedition. I think they should delete Alva. I think they should... Let's see. I almost think they should delete Bestiary. I'm not fully committed to, to saying that, though. Um, Expedition's my most favorite league mechanic. Is it your most favorite, is, or is it your most rewarding? If you took logbooks out of Expedition, would you still play it? If you, could, if you couldn't sell the logbooks? Because I think a lot of people view it as... Uh, I think people like mechanics because they're rewarding, not because they're fun. In a lot of cases. Um, let's see, what are the other things that I, I would get rid of? Maybe one other one, I don't know. I wonder if I can survive this. Yeah, I can. Exploit, oh, that's a good one. Heist. I struggle to want to get rid of Heist even though I hate it because I just feel like there's been so much design work put into it. I don't know if I would want to get rid of Heist. 
I love Legion. Yeah, like, uh, so let's talk about, like, what are the best ones? Legion and Breach. Like, Blight? I, I don't like Blight. Delirium? Yeah. Ultimatum? Yeah, yeah, whatever happened to that? If I could trade, like, if I could trade Expedition for Ultimatum, I would be so happy. Do you ever fully level up and prepare your heist crew for speed? I've watched videos of people who have done it, but I've never done it myself. I think they should reduce bullet down to four to five league mechanics for PoE. Yeah. There we go. Anything good out of that? No. How have minions been so far? They're okay. Uh, they're great for bossing. Uh, they're good for like doing events. They make typically annoying things in the game not annoying. And they make typically fun things in the game annoying. It's a good way to say. Boots? Yes! I got it! Holy fuck, thank god. Yes! Fucking finally. All right. Are these good? Are these boots good? They're actually horrible. Um. Okay, we're gonna have to make sure that we only use these boots on an ancestral. Um. So I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reroll my current boots. Like mine now are bad, right? Um, so doesn't even really matter. I'm gonna put this enchant on my chest, and then I'll put the boots on so I can save the reroll later. Whenever I get a tier four item, that's good. I think that should be everything. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that now. I can't believe it. Stick the aspect on an amulet for three skeletons instead of two. I don't think it's worth it. I really, I just, I just don't think it's worth it. Okay. I just don't want to deal with another shitty sacred upgrade, to be honest. I, I don't care if I'm getting rid of a good one or not. You can still use these. Okay. So we're going to equip these. And then I'm going to disenchant this one. 
Does this have max evade? Oh no, it doesn't. That's too bad. And extract aspect. I guess it doesn't really matter which one I'm doing. I guess we'll do this one here. Double check. Skeletal mages, yes. And then we're going to put this on. And then we're going to have from inventory put this on here. And then skeletal warriors on chest. Easiest game of my life. Okay. Oh, let me re-roll pa this pair of boots too. But don't dally. Hand it over. Cold resist. It's pretty bad. I'm gonna re-roll it again since I'm gonna have these for a long time. I'm gonna do one more re-roll. It's really a bad item. Uh, I, I don't want to spend any more resources on it. Okay. Um, so we've got that. Okay, where's the next one we need to go do? I guess I'll go turn this quest in. Through resistances, yeah, it sucks. It doesn't matter. Who cares? Okay. Two more mages is big enough. Yeah, it's massive. Amulets from cultists. Okay, let's go do that too. All right, let's see him. Oh my god. You got all them boys out there. Alright, let's go. Holy shit. Oh, something knocked us out. You got the whole squad, yeah. Even if they fix resistances, do you think it's a fun mechanic to actually need? I think it probably won't be. Like, I, I'm in general. Oh, this is perfect. All right, let's test this out. Here we go. We'll see how they do. This is going pretty well. Okay. Good. It's going very well, alright. I like this. Oh, we got an elite. Oh, this is just crazy. Oh, did somebody die? You can't win them all. Perfect. Great, I think that went really well. Fuck yeah. We're boss 12 minutes. Yeah, I'm gonna go and do one more dungeon. I'm gonna finish this. 
literally impossible event on Rogue. Yeah. With this class, like, uh, with, like, my build, like, every event is a complete joke to the point to where I actually want to do them. Because, like, I don't know about you guys, but, like, on a Barbarian, I hated events. I never did events, ever. But, like, now I'm more, more than willing to do them, and I kind of actually enjoy them because I get to show off, like, a cool thing that my class can do, you know? I feel like I'm, like, uh, exploiting, you know? Necro is so badass with their armor sets. Yeah, I agree. So, an engine should be in Eternal 2. It'll be tough to lose the visibility after Season 1 ends. Yeah. Yeah, I'm probably going to respec kind of soon, but I just haven't really thought a lot about like how to respec or what I want to do. I wish I could get some better items, man. Actually, like, really, all I need to do is just do these events, and then I'll be able to, uh, get my Renown done. I finish my Renown, then I I'm, like, totally good to go. Blood or Darkness set a bone? I haven't really decided what I'm gonna do. Understand why I forced to play an obese druid and playing a male sork makes you look like a crossdresser. I I actually don't mind that. I like the idea that like the druids are fat, the fucking necromancers look like drug addicts, the barbarians look like bodybuilders, rogues look like they're like dancers at a club, uh, like strippers at a club. Like, yeah, I think that's fine. As I said, I just want to get uh, get this Renown finished. I don't even really give a shit about the gear. I gotta run back now, shit. You get the body course explosion, I'd go the shadow route. Yeah, I think so too. Did you do a new boss? Necro's doing it at level 60? Well, I mean, no doubt. I'm not surprised to hear that at all. I also need to get the uh, attack speed one. Get back from there. Mm. We're going for this one right here. This is just amazing.
This truly is something special. God damn, we got paid for that shit, huh? Get all that gold? Yeah, that, that's why these are so fun. Oh, they're all the way over there. So what's the core gameplay? A-bomb, tank, skelly, DPS, and you buff? Well, I'm supposed to do things, I just don't want to. You see that, that, uh, the blood golem thing? I feel like Blood Golem is the best for like what I'm doing at least because like the boss damage it does with like the CDR, I just think it's so good. Because it can just kill the, uh, it can kill the elites really fast. And also it's up all the time, whereas like the Bone Golem doesn't have anything like that. I haven't tried the Iron Golem, though. 10% damage reduction? Oh, yeah, yeah, you can do that, too. I forgot. Like, watch. See that? That's a huge chunk of damage. Okay. Um, when's this world boss spawn? Two minutes? Okay. Do you just hate Bone Spear? Oh, I like Bone Spear. I think Bone Spear is awesome. I think it's amazing. Yeah, what do you mean? Do I hate Bone Spear? Absolutely not. I, I love Bone Spear. I just, like, if I wanted to play Bone Spear, I would be playing an Archer. Like, Bone Spear is an Archer build. I want to play a Necromancer where, like, my minions do everything. And I told people, like, if I can't do that, I'm done. I'll quit the game. That's it. It's just that simple. Yeah, I'm gonna get this. Like, dude, this is gonna be, like, this is literally... 14, oh, sorry, 45% damage. Like, this minion board is fucking disgusting. And then as soon as I get that, I get skeleton warrior damage too. I get, I just need more dexterity. Which is like, I'll just get that passively. Another minion damage right there. I'm going to get that. I mean, I'm just going to be, like, completely popping off. Which one is this? A Shava? Oh, no, it doesn't say. Wandering Death. Okay. Necro Paragon board is legit good. There's only one Paragon board that's, like, super good. The other ones are, like, okay.
taking a while, huh? How do I get hit by that? What a bunch of bullshit. Well, it was. Nice. All right. Let's get back to working on these. I guess we have to go do this. Yeah, we'll start working on that. When did you get any new Callum? Yesterday. Oh, you know what? I bet that is, um, that's what killed Lilith, right? That was like that one build that like one shot Lilith was probably this legendary. Sold the calf zone on my way to 58 necro. Auto casting corpse tendrils makes it a little cakewalk. I tried it at like 52 and it was hard. So, like, I'm gonna wait until I'm either 60 or I finish my renown, whichever one comes first. And then I will do the capstone. I think I'm going to hit that today, though. I want to get all that stuff done, and then we're going to watch some videos. And then, like, tomorrow I'm just going to grind uh, the Tier 4. Unique gloves get of exploding skellies whenever a corpse explosion goes off. Uh, no, I need to get that.
You need the minion ring too? Yeah. What's your quit point for this season, Uber Lilith? I don't know. I think I'm just going to play until I don't feel like playing anymore, really. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't really have, like, a big plan. I'm just playing the game, really. Yeah, like look at this damage, dude. The min, dude. The minions are so good. They're actually fucking insane. Is there a way though to make my skeletons be able to do? They can't do shadow damage, can they? The mages can? Yeah, I, I was just looking if the reapers could. I, I know the mages can. Need Reap Blight or Sever to cast Shadow Damage. Yeah, people said I should use Blight. It's just, it's really hard to to want to do that whenever Bone Spear is just like... It's just really good. Like... That's all there is to it. It's just really, really good. Sever is better, it synergizes with minion build. Sever is? Do you need a scythe to use Sever? Wait, what? Oh, fuck. Thing is, Bone Spear is great for your damage output, but Blight synergizes really well with your minions for their output. Yeah. I know eventually I'm going to be getting rid of uh, Bone Spear. My blade quivers in anticipation. I just, I don't want to. Like, I, I should respect a number of these things. Movement speed first? Yeah. Is there an elite? Is Karthus a real word? Karthus is a location? Okay. Because there's Karthus is in Dark Souls 3 too. That's why I was curious. Oh, um, by the way, I uh, talked to the guys that do the uh, Arc Thrones mod, and I'm going to have an interview with them on stream uh, really soon. Probably like the, uh, this week coming up.
Yeah, this guy's got a lot of fucking health. Oh, my minions were AFK. This does not feel slow compared to PoE, that's why I don't play it. I mean, this is like, what, is this, this is day three, right? Yeah, I think PoE is faster by day three than this is. I think that PoE is too fast, though. Like, the, there's too many things that happen in the game all at the same time, and just, like, action is just too fast in the game in general. I think I need to go this way, right? Yeah, okay, I do. You feel it. The hatred lingers it's a boss. It's obviously a boss. Let's go. This is where we must perform the ritual. Place the this better be a real boss, too. Good. The spirits will cling to their hatred. I am trusting you to defend Nice. Let us bring these paladins peace. I was there when the Son of Kakor fell. I felt Mephisto's magic clawing at my mind. Even today, I beat him. I killed him. He's dead. I remember that. Yes. We did it, boys. We did it. Winners win. Okay, let's do these three. Necro's mega fun this season. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm not sure how it's going to be. Uh, I'm kind of waiting to get to world tier four, right? Because like, I think so far, like what do I think so far? I've been having fun. Why did I say I engaged an elite? Oh. Six hundred more, boys. We just gotta get six hundred more renown until we. And after that, then finally we'll be able to play the game. I'm so excited. Oh god! It's just tiresome. Ever wonder, where's the wonder and enjoyment you had the first time? I was wondering that the first time. Yeah, funny, funny you should ask. Yeah. Man. There's relief. I remember whenever I finished it, I was like, thank God it's over. Oh, all right, here we go. Take 
as you are. Mm. They skipped the campaign? Yeah. I wish they made you, you could like have a choice. Like you could either skip the campaign or you could skip Renown. Because I would love to do the campaign again. I think the campaign was good content. Like, what's the logic behind, like, you can skip the good content, but you can't skip the boring content? I don't know what they were thinking. Now, I'm not saying, like, having to do it is like the greatest stuff ever right it still kind of sucks but it's like god damn it's better than what we have i would rather do campaign than renown i wish they had a thing where it was like if you complete the campaign again you don't have to do renown it just like uh cancels it out Because I, I could do it while I was leveling. It would be so much more fun. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get any good, uh, good levels for a while or meaningful levels. They're not all dead. Oh. Any escape campaigns insane? That's the best part of the game. Instead, we have to do renown. Yeah, it's like you think about that. Like, what is the, what's the thinking there? I. Uh, I don't. Well, actually, I do know what the thinking is. There wasn't any. Yeah, guys, there wasn't no, they didn't think about it. Uh, it's just that, you know, everybody just kind of like, I, I wish more people had said this, like now that I'm thinking about it, I'm actually so disappointed that like, we don't just get to do the campaign again. But we have to do this, like, garbage grind. Maybe we should just play BDO. Play Black Desert Online? Oh yeah, that'll, that'll, then, then we won't have to grind at all. True. Yeah, that'll solve the problem. So apparently there's an ancient item, or artifact item, excuse me, whatever the fuck they are. Relic, I, I don't even know, but um, there's an item that makes it to where your, uh, your corpse explosion spawns something that's like a... Uh, it spawns like little skeletons instead of actual like the corpse explosion and i'd actually like to get that that'd be really good howl from the is it good like is it a good item It's Biss. Yeah, I feel like that's very good. Okay, now we have to do another one. How many of these? Okay, I have one more stronghold to do, so I really only have 500 more.
you make Diablo 4, so you min-max gear, and you start the game, you can farm dungeons 24-7. Well, I just, uh, I, I just would rather do the campaign, like... Because, like... And, and I'll talk... It's like PoE, right? It's like, how many of you guys in PoE benchmark your build by how fast you kill certain bosses? Like, is my build big dick enough to kill the Vol Oversoul before it does the slam? Is my build big dick enough to kill Kataba before it casts anything in Act 5? Can I sur can how fast can I kill the heart on Kataba? Um, like, can I kill the Dominus abs without having to kite them? Uh, I, I feel like I do this, like, in many different places, right? I'm trying to think other ones that I have. I think those are some of the main ones. It's a fun challenge, yeah. It's like, how fast did you, could you kill Lilith, you know, or something like that. Labyrinth is a benchmark? Yeah, yeah, like, can, can I, how fast can I kill a Zaro? Can I instantly phase change innocence? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, before he can even cast anything. Or it's like, if you're righteous fire, can you tank the fire beam from him or something like that? Like, I I, I don't know. Like, the more I think about that, I do that a lot, actually. Until early and how low level you can do lab is benchmark. I never tried to do lab at low level. Like, I just wait until I'm at a high enough level. And also, like... I feel like at this point, I mean... Like, mistakes can happen, but I... I feel pretty confident that... I'm probably not going to die against Cesaro, right? Unless I just... Just fuck up, you know? Like, I know every ability he does. I know everything that can happen. There's, like, no way I'm gonna die. Unless I do, which is different. Not a good one. Plan to do shadow damage. You picked shadow blight. No, I haven't. I just have attack speed. I probably should try shadow blight and just see what happens. But I also have like skeleton mages, like a, a frost skeleton mages with like the legendary to make them do blizzards. So because of that, like, I just haven't used it. I wish we could ask questions like that in the Diablo Q&A. Like, you know what question I would ask? Do you feel like having to farm Renown in Season 1 was an improvement on gameplay for people that were, you know, was an improvement to the game in the eyes of people who played the on the Eternal Realms. You know, do, do you feel like this made the game, did this make the game better? Do you guys think it made the game better or not? You guys have fun. Yeah. How many people working on Diablo redid all their renown? Yeah, that'd be a good question. Yeah. How many people on the Diablo team have completed their renown in season one? Yeah. Let, let's we're, we're, let's 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 look at Rod and Joe's account. 
and and uh, let's let let's do, let's do a little inspection here. Cause remember, like I think that that was the turning point for New World, where like remember after the developers did like that, uh, there's like a really high level zone, the highest level zone in the game is called Merkguard, and it's like it had these mobs in in the zone that were just like complete bullshit mobs, and it was like, um, it's like imagine like a level sixty zone, and there's just like randomly level one hundred mobs there, and they just like kill everything in one hit. And, um, people said that they're like, they want to see the developers actually do this zone. And so they did, and like, obviously, like, it was a disaster. And, um, after that, I feel like things kind of got better. I do, I, I feel like after that, things got a lot better. Because they, they actually played the game, and, you know, they got a chance to experience it. To see what it's really like. What, they just drop these now? Not any loot? Let's see the WoW team clear Mythic Raids. Well, I think that they probably could do that. Like, the people that make... The problem isn't that the, the WoW developers are... St it, it's not that they're bad at the game. It's that they don't understand, like... Like, a lot of the WoW developers are people that were, like, professional players or, you know, like, like Ian, for example, right? So, like, I don't doubt their ability, I just, I, I, I doubt their ability to acknowledge that there are other people who don't have that ability. That's a pretty nice upgrade, uh, 14%. I don't think I'm going to use it, but it's nice to have. We start blaming execs instead of devs. Yes and no. I I think that it's like the five second. Okay, so let, let's look at it in the most in the most cynical way. That the only reason the five second teleport for dungeons. Let's think about. It, let's assume that it's only there to boost participation time. That's literally it. And there's no other reason, and the developers just have to boost this metric, and they they just need to do it, right? Couldn't they have done that in a better way? The fuck? You see, like, more mobs? Yeah, add in more mobs. Add in, like... Like, what if they added in, like, a Horodric cube that was like a Rubik's cube that you had to click all of the little things in at the end of Nightmare Dungeons or some dungeons, and if you complete one of the cubes, you get an extra item. Because that would make you stay in the dungeon more. Like, there's, like, 50 things I could think of, like, different things that you could do that would make people want to stay in the dungeon longer. Sounds awful. Well, then you wouldn't have to do it, right? Um, and this is just like something I literally thought up off the top of my head. So like, if it's a stupid idea, you don't like the idea? Okay. Like, but don't you think like all of these guys like together could come up with something better than, you know, like what some random streamer thought of in like five minutes? You know, I mean, like, what the fuck? I was on Red suggested so they have more leeway with making teleport animations. But, like, the thing is, if, if they had just gone and been like, guys, listen. You like this game? We do too. We want to keep making this game for a long time. And in order to do that, we need money. All right? And how are we going to get that money? Well, let's talk about teleport cosmetics. Okay. Let's talk about that. And they just said that, I would be like, 
If they, I, I really mean this, if they said that the only reason that they increased it is to make teleport cosmetics more important, I would be like, okay. All right. Y you know, like, I, I, I w I wouldn't really complain, like, I would be like, ah, fucking Blizzard, you know, it's, what do you expect, right? But... I don't know, like, I... Yeah, just, I, I, yeah, I... I think people don't like getting goofed. People don't like getting goofed around. Ooh. Watch my experience bar. It's not moving. You're right. I thought it was going to move faster than this. Okay, here we go. I did it. Quarter of a bar. Yeah, I thought it was going to be more. I thought it was going to be a lot more. Um, let's see. Sacred Saber, I don't know about that. Those are my favorite events. I don't understand why problems exist in the first place. Every single game that comes out these days, companies create problems and to be able to fix them later. Well, I don't know. I mean, I'm just saying, like, in general, I... I would respect if they just were out with it and they just explained, they're like, this is why we're doing it. Rather, even if it's for a stupid reason. Like... I think people would prefer that than just, like, bullshit answers. We got a legendary. It's huge. We love legendaries. That's it. What the fuck? All the adventurers died? <laughs> Survival of the fittest, that's just the way it goes. I could try and see how this armor goes. It's huge. I wonder if it's still good. I'm gonna put it on, just see what happens. Yeah, let, let's just see what happens. It doesn't matter.
Getting the barrier would be nice, but it's not that important, I don't think. Is this build on max roll? No, it is not. This is my own build that I have invented. Diablo 4 has so many problems that were already fixed in Diablo 3, yet people decide to have the exact same problems again. Doesn't that seem fishy? Well, it's because the players put up with it. That's what it is. People put up with this shit. And... It's just like, everybody can be like, oh, I can't believe they did that. Oh, I can't. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Why'd they do that? Like, but they just keep playing the game. I mean, this is garbage. Who the fuck wants that? I can break that down. So sever. Oh, I bet that'd be really good. Then I could use sever and it gives blight as well. Oh, well, that would be perfect. It's good. Three second CD. Yeah, but blight lasts for a while. That's crazy good. I should probably use this. You can still use these. Bender that shit. See if we get something good out of the box. It is done. All right, uh, let's go ahead and do, we'll go do this stronghold. I'll show you what's up. Well, as when I come play their shitty gotcha game. Well, people want me to play, uh, people want me to play a lot of different games. I mean, uh, I, I can't play every game people want. I just play the game I want, and that's it. So I got renowned for this. I feel like, yeah, I can finish this shit today. Renown's so much fun. Yeah. Enjoy it a lot more whenever you enjoy what you're playing. I mean, I think that I always, uh... I always try to do what I want to do, you know? I think it's a mistake to ever do anything different than that, honestly. Get him. Done. Hmm. Starting to middle for this event? Is that true? 
I never heard of that. Yeah. Okay. It's just remove renown from seasons completely. Uh, I agree. Uh, I think renown sucks. And as I said, uh, if I have to do it again, I'm probably just not gonna play the next season. Such heat. What does this guy want? He goes, oh. Okay. How long is he going to talk? Okay, let's see how many of these other ones I have to do. I think I've done, even in dry steps, so I've already done all three of these. I have a lot of dungeons I need to do in dry steps. And I guess I have to go this way. Go get him. Oh fuck, I gotta click something again? What about B100 full gear at the start of a season? Uh, I think that's a bit much. I just, uh, I just don't want to have to do renown. I think it sucks. Like again, like if, like can we at least compromise? Like Blizzard, if we could just compromise and just do the campaign instead of renown, I would be happy. Why can't we just do that? Like... I'd be happy to? No? You guys say no? You like doing Renown more than the campaign? I don't. Yeah, what do you mean? No way. Oh, I gotta get the thing from him. One more. Renown is much faster in my opinion. You think Renown is faster? I don't think so. I think Renown is way slower, like... I don't even think it's close. You did it twice, you must like it. Oh, true. Oh, the fires will never die. 
Okay. Two legendaries. Great, we got that done. I guess we'll do this at the same time. And we'll do this too. I think Renown is bad for you because Necro is slow. I think that's the reason. Yeah, I don't know. Necro's first 100. Yeah, it was. The Necromancer used Bone Spear, right? I think they did. Was he in a group though? Yeah, but he was in a group with another Necro, I'm pretty sure. It was like two Necromancers and something else. I wish that um, the Priest Blessing made the, uh, the minions move faster. I think it's cool when like, uh, like in PoE there's a thing called Offering of Flesh, the Flesh Offering or something. And it makes them move faster. I just think it's cool. Because, like, they just, they do stuff quicker and it just looks cool. Skill is on crack, yeah. Well, the real crackhead NPCs in uh, PoE are the fucking golems, because you can, like, buff them so much. Like, carrying golems? Holy shit. Flesh for survival, spirit for speed. Really? I thought you used bone offering for survival. Flesh offering for damage, and... I don't know anybody who used Spirit Offering. Do the Capstone. Okay, let me finish my Renown in this area, then we'll do the Capstone, okay? Too easy to get into? No. Absolutely not. It's probably, I, I would say right now, it's like, like from what I've seen, and like I only played Tarkov like a very, 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 very small amount, but I think it's as hard to get into as Tarkov. Maybe Tarkov is even easier. I think a good way to say like how complicated PoE is, if you ask most PoE streamers, do you know a lot about the game? They'll tell you no. <laughs> so if you played this game like 10,000 hours, like you probably know everything about it. No. No, I don't, I don't really know anything actually. Yeah, no, no idea. A lot of POE is convoluted and not complex. Well, uh, either way, it's hard to understand. Can 
I have to get beef jerky. Mm. How does game get into one worm? I feel like WoW is pretty hard to warm. <clears throat> like, retail WoW. I think retail WoW, like, the reason why it might be harder to get into is because you have to rely on other people. Like, I don't understand why we still have things like key depletion in Mythic Plus. Like, why, why, why is that, why is that even a thing? Just don't make no sense. Feeling like I deserve a good item soon. No loop. Well, yeah, too bad to right. How much more complex can CPU are we getting? Because right now you have a lot more six link items, one button builds gone. Hmm. You're always going to have one button build. Every game has one button build. Every game has a couple, but that's all DR Diablo 4 is. Um, I actually think like Diablo you usually press more buttons than PoE. Mm. 
Let's go any auras, yeah. Like in PoE, you usually start a map and you have all your auras on. And you have like a single target spell, maybe a debuff, like a trap, and then like your main spell. If you're about flasks, you definitely press more in PoE. Bro, you still press your flasks? You still doing that? Bro, this guy still presses his flask. What's he doing? Many people pass through, but there is something different about this one. Something Embarrassing, man. Enigmatic. I've got sharp, blunt, sinister. All right, what we get? I can break that down. Garbage. 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 You can still use these. Hmm. You ever play with the mage blood? No, I never have. I love side quests. One more. We skip campaign, yeah. Yes, indeed. There were attempts. That was easy. Mm. You go stream at XLCon? Yeah. What age did midlife crisis start? I feel like video gamers their first midlife crisis is whenever their favorite game growing up doesn't hit the same as it used to. You guys ever had that happen? Easiest game of my fucking life. Mm. Most my online. For me, the funny thing for me is like the games I grew up playing, like Smash and like Halo 2, everybody still loves those games. Those are my main two games. Mm. Did I get? Oh yeah. Find the decaying farmstead. Oh. 
Nice. Oh, did I vendor this one? Oh, no, I didn't. That's a sacred. Oh, yeah, that's good. Okay. Um. You regret coming here. What would wow me like crisis be? Um, wow, midlife crisis. What is this? For me? My companion Let me think. Harsh to many, but beneath his bluster and his sword lies a scholar. My wow, midlife crisis. He knows things I never thought to seek out, and he is generous. Some scholars jealously guard all the things they know, not him. Probably Tumor Sargeras. By the statue of the Beard And though I can see he Yeah, Tumor Sargeras. Oh, that helped this dumb bitch get flowers? What the fuck I wanna do that for? Is that it? <clears throat> Withered daffodil, just what I wanted. Where is a woman? Oh, it's right here. No, there it is. Oh, that's good. Just one. Who do you use in Smash? I play Marth. I usually play Roy. Until, uh... I watched, like, a YouTube video in, like, 2006 or 7. And, like, somebody was playing Marth. And I was like, this guy is better than Roy. And then... I just never played Roy again. Well, I feel like Beef Jerky is like, it is the greatest snack of all time. What the fuck? Repeat the Wayfinder stuff yet? Three weeks till release? No. There's no way. Maybe three weeks release of the beta. Cross the broken bridge. Okay, did I do it yet? Hmm. Not about. All right, let's get it. Early access? Okay, yeah, I'll play. You gonna try Vietnamese beef jerky? No, never. I'm just gonna pop this so I can take that hit and not have to move.
This is GG. Oh my god, they're not attacking the right one. They're so dumb. Do you ever see, uh, do you ever come close to dying in this game? Uh, yeah, sometimes whenever you instantly die. And, uh, usually you die whenever you disconnect. That's what I would say. Disconnecting. I was on my way. Okay, wh where's this? I gotta go over there. Oh, I got another one? Fuck. Oh, I guess I didn't put the last one in. Should have done that. Okay, I'm here. Part of me hoped you would just be here, waiting with arms open. No There's zero people died in this game due to skill. It's an easy game. I don't even know if they're alive. What was the Blizzard drama of the day today? Um, Blizzard drama of the day. I've dreamed of coming home for so long, but there's nothing here. Just us. We spent so many nights carving these together. Yeah, has anything stupid happened today? Odd. That's my mother's chest. It looks reasonably disturbed. My father's Stash chap tweet? Yeah, it was like last night. practically a part of him. Now it's covered in cobwebs. Why didn't said Stash memory Stash about memory and not sucking? Yeah. Okay. We'll just do that. Shut up and give me the fucking experience. Who is he? What is that in his hand? We done yet? So no. I helped my father hang these up when I was small. He held me on his shoulders just so I could reach. I hope. He was thinking of Battle pass currency not even being enough for the cheapest stuff. Ah, uh, I don't really feel like that's it's that big of a deal. I mean, look, I just don't give a fuck about cosmetic shit like this. Like, I'm gonna be real. Like, I just do not. It says I gotta protect this girl, but I've been protecting her and ain't nothing happen. Is this shit broken? Fuck this, I'm not gonna do it. Oh, it's all the way over there. That's cute. Yeah, I should have known that. It almost sounded like my mother. Hmm. Oh, they're over there. 
Let's find it, guys. I got him. It was miserable. No, I, I'm uh, I'm actually pretty relaxed right now, to be honest with you. I'm not that stressed out or upset at all. I'm just pretty much playing the game, chilling. Yeah, like I'm not really upset at all. Like, yeah, obviously, like the, you know, the renowned stuff is stupid, but I don't know how. Uh, I guess we have to. Kill, what do we have to do? Like kill our mom or something? Who the fuck cares? Let's go. Uh, let's go do this, I guess. Mm. I feel like Yannick was a good name for that quest because that shit was boring. Alright, let's go. People say you stand in the middle, it's gonna be fine. Alright, let's go. Excellent. Alright. Let's go do this. Then all three rings, yeah. No, it makes it way easier. Get back. Get back. I feel no demon. Shut up. Yeah, as soon as I finish this, we're gonna do the uh, the capstone. Simon should have. Simon tried to kill you. They were friendly with you. I don't know. Enter Morgan's Folly. Oh fuck! Hopefully, I don't have to actually do this dungeon again. Ooh, we have an event. I'll tie it in two minutes. Bro, I, I need I need to just fuck I the last thing I need to worry about right now is a fucking hell tide. I need to get my renown done. That's the real content in the game. Okay. It's not nightmare dungeons, it's renown. That's the real shit. Legendary. What do we get? Barrier damage. Uh, don't really think I'm going to use that. Find the Crusader's armor. Oh. Fuck, I do have to do it. How long would it take to do all the side quests in the game? Uh... I don't know.
Maybe I should just try to do... I, I feel like I kind of... Like, how far away am I? I'll check after this to see how close I am. Because I might just want to try to do the capstone again. And just say, fuck it. See what happens. So I feel like I have to. Now it should be tied to other things besides like monster kills or uh, or nightmare dungeon clears. Yeah. I mean, it should basically just like basically like right now it should just be anything except for what it is. I, it's like that's the it's the the worst thing you could possibly do. Is a pet build dog shit? I don't think it scales like as high at the end. It's just how it is. I just feel stupid for getting sacred items whenever I know there's a tier that's higher than that. I just want to start getting those items instead. That's a big boy. Feel stupid for uniques knowing there's a higher tier higher than Yeah, yeah, because you get a unique and it's like not not the good tier, so it's bad. True. I'm probably gonna get rid of this at some point. Like this one's like it's okay, but like it's just not like it, it really uh, is not super great this is it thank the light we found it yes my am i done now i was worried thank fucking god okay uh i guess i'll just finish this real quick This shit makes me so mad, you don't get experience for this. Y'all know that? This actually doesn't count for, like, experience. It's not dumb. Jesus, bro. Like, all my guys are dying. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. They fixed it? Oh, they changed it? You mean like they recently changed it? Like they changed it? Oh, I'm wrong then. I'm I'm stupid and wrong. Thank God. Awesome. It'll be for season one. Yeah, I wasn't really paying attention to the bar because I remember it didn't work for a while. See, just a pack of elites over here. I don't waste my time going all that way. All right, here we go. got deleted. Yeeted and deleted. Gotcha, bitch. You don't get experience for mobs, you get a burst of experience after the intermission is over now though, that's the fix. Oh. Okay. Uh. How, so how close am I? I'm pretty close, I mean. I think yeah yeah I'll just try to I'll try to actually finish this and then we'll do the capstone. 
We'll just try to speed run these side quests because they're faster than the dungeons for Renown. Probably prevent people from leaving the room and resetting the dungeon and doing it again. Where the hell is it? Like, I'm not trying to actually, like, do this. Like, just put- just tell me where to go. I hate having to look for shit. There we go. Thank God. Okay. Slay the wildlife. Okay, get them. Kill them. Exciting. There's nothing here. No clue, no hint of Simon. Boy. What games are you looking forward to most this year? Uh what? Oh, um, what games are I looking forward to most? Uh, I feel like, I feel like a lot of them have come out. Yeah, Liza P, I think that game's going to be fun. Um, I'm trying to think like what else besides that. Oh yeah, that's right. I remember this bullshit. Kiwi 2. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to come out today, though. Have you seen the gameplay of Lords of the Fallen? Looks incredible. Yeah, I mean, again... Uh, True, but I mean, Throne of Liberty gameplay looked really good too. So we're gonna wait and see how the game is whenever people are able to actually play it and not see, you know, six second clips of gameplay. I mean, obviously showing gameplay is like way better than not showing gameplay. But that doesn't just like completely put my mind at ease with that kind of stuff. Are pets in Diablo 4 not to loot for me? That's a good question. Uh, I guess we'll go do this.
made it without you. True. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Damage reduction. I don't think I need that. Let's go to the next one. I love this class. As I said, my goal in a video game is to not have to play it. Like, whenever I stream a video game, I want to make the game look like as much of a pathetic, like, broken, dysfunctional piece of garbage as possible. Like, it's supposed to look like trash, basically. That's the goal. Okay, let's go get these guys done. Why? I just, I find it to be like, so... I feel like it's like being able to completely master the game to the point to where... Uh, to the point where you completely understand everything about it and... You're like good at it. I think it's a, it's like an element of like being good at the game. It's like an or it's an organizational challenge. Asserting your dominance over the game, yeah. Where it's like, you know, games that have like autoplay and stuff like that. Slay cultists near the snake god. Oh, there's no way I can do that as a minion character. Has anything interesting happened today at all? X videos? Yeah. Apparently a lot of other people made that joke too. I didn't know that. I woke up. I mean, it's kind of an easy joke to be fair, but I woke up at like 7 p.m. Oh, is it? Okay. Where's the evidence of these dudes? Oh, there they are. You want to open armor? Maybe. I I haven't really watched a lot of movies recently, honestly. Like I'm trying to think of the last movie that I watched. It's probably been a while. Barbie is really good. I hear, like, people are just, like, super opinionated about that movie. Like, people either think it's amazing or they... They say there's, like, political agenda in it and stuff. Like, I... I, I don't know. I kind of wonder, like... It's woke. Uh... I mean, I, I don't know, I mean. So fuck, I go with the back there, fuck. You were so sensitive, I saw it, it was pretty funny. Yeah. Most chat full of gamers think a movie made by woman is woke. I don't think it's because it has because it's a girl. Like I, I don't think that's really the reason. And folk think we 
Nice. Oh, I got 59. All right. Willpower or intelligence? I think I need more willpower. Okay. Oh, there's a lot I gotta do over there. Holy shit. Playing everything's woke is actually more annoying than actual woke. Yeah, I think so too. Messages men are either worthless or patriarchal piece of shit. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I'd have to see for myself. I think people usually just, like, they say it in a way that... Like... I, I, I just... I, I don't know. I'd, I'd have to just watch it and see. Because I just don't really trust people that say a lot of that stuff. I just usually assume they're, uh... They're, they're upset that it's not pushing their agenda or, you know, they look at everything through that lens. So it's like, of course, they think that. Uh, I think that's the case with a lot of people is like, like all they do is they spend all day on like uh, on websites oh, and, damn, you know, trying to like hyper fixate on like different things that like uh, oh, on, movies do. Don't to try to like figure out oh is this like actually you know some sort of like woke thing or not is that just reddit i think there's a lot of people online that do that bro, bro come on oh fuck jesus how many quests do i have to do here Capstone win after I finish this area. I guess I have to go over and kill these things. They did the same thing with Sounds of Freedom. Yeah, apparently, like, that's a. Sounds of Freedom is a um, QAnon movie. awesome yeah so yeah i watched like an interview with uh and it's like that's kind of like what happens right is like people just like they they draw battle lines over these like random social like these like random media things and like so now like everybody either has to like or dislike something like i watched an interview uh from like sean hannity interviewing the guy that, that did the movie the actor and he's like talking about like how often he watches Passion of the Christ because apparently that guy was uh, in Passion of the Christ too. And it was just like... It's just a lot. They went to Ezra. Is it done? Okay, it is. Okay, so where are the corpses? Oh, here's one. Wait. There's one. Jim Caviezel was only good in person of interest. Yeah, that's the guy. I didn't recognize his name. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I thought thought he was fine in the uh, Passion of the Christ when we were watching that. And it's like, man, they really beat the fuck out of Jesus, right? It's like, damn. Okay. 
I don't know, like... Yeah, it didn't seem like it was... That big of a deal, you know? Yeah, they- yeah, they fucking- they, <gasps> Bro, that dude got fucked up! You absolutely nailed it in that movie. Yeah, I sure did. Oh, here's one. Okay. I think this should be it. Oh no, I've got to. Oh fuck. Okay, um, teleport back. Or is a fun movie just bloated with political messages? Yeah, I don't know. I'd have to see it myself. Sometimes people, uh, sometimes, like, people's idea of something being political is, like, it's, like, kind of dumb. Okay. Alright, we finished it. Good. I need one more. One more fucking quest. I guess we'll go do these two. Some people, uh, are politics terminally online. Yeah. It's like they see everything through that lens. No sign of him yet. Damn it, Did I get it? Oh, I got it. Okay, where's this Flynn guy? Uh-oh. Uh oh. What the? Get fucked. Well then, Flynn. Guess now we're even. Sure was. Oh god, I have to do one more. Okay, I'll just go turn this one in. Kick accounts getting hacked and people logging into people's accounts and buying subs. I don't know if that's really drama. Okay, we got it. Yes. Okay, and... One more. Actually, I know what I can do. Got it. Easiest game of my life. Alright, boys. Uh, let's go ahead and get ready. I'm gonna... Actually, I'll save all my stuff for now. Oh, it just keeps happening. What was in the mayor's suit? Wonders one. Yep. We got it. Okay, we'll get rid of this. We will keep that. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. And these items I'm going to go ahead and hold on to as well. Let me just teleport to, back to the main city and get rid of all these. Because I might want to keep some of these legendary effects.
Okay, uh, let's fucking do it. Uh, I guess I'll go and I'll, I'll double upgrade all my gear. Just to make it a little bit better. And then we'll get started. Okay, don't be cheap. I'm gonna be cheap as fuck. Are your hands clean? Look, but don't touch. Just such a waste. Beautiful and handy. Okay. All right. Let's do it. And where the hell is it? It's right there. Alrighty, gentlemen, let's do the capstone dungeon. There's one. I mean, I'm level 59. Uh, this dungeon is level 70. So... Not exactly sure how this is going to go, but we will figure it out. You're fine? Yeah. I'll be at 55. I, I beat it at 58 on my Barbarian. Quinnacred New League boss at 64 and it's level 80, you barely had to move. I mean... Yeah, I mean, I don't think they're trying to make that shit super hard, you know? Maybe that is a bit too easy, though. I got another stuff for... I, I need to get one of those mages ones. Like, that's another warrior. Like, I've gotten, like, seven warriors and one mage. I think that, I mean, it's gotta be that the mage one is, like, way more rare. Let's do it. It's just bad RNG for you? Well, fuck. God gaming time. Yep, let's do it. This is a level 70 area. I'm level 59. Curse. This place is cursed. Bump do a lot down. I'm still getting farmed. This isn't good at all. That was fun. 
I'm gonna try it again. Oh, I've been killed by almost one hit by that attack. How does that, that thing do so much damage? I don't think I can do it. Dad. We got a long way to go. No defense. I don't have any offense either. I, I barely kill one mob at a time. I'm dead. I couldn't see that. This sucks. Need more renown, yeah. Need blood mist. I just, as I said, if I can't play a minion build without having to play some other bullshit like that, I'll just quit. Those are not bad until you get the unique, you'll feel weak. So then they're bad. This is fucking brutal. Holy shit.
Okay. First event. I feel like I'll probably be able to do this one pretty easily. one down. I think this is the one where you have to like kill like a uh, a tower or something like that. I don't remember exactly. That went actually really well. Things have a lot of fucking health. Did I get the mage legendary yet? I did. I did. I finally got it. I think I got it from like a random drop too, if I remember right. Uh oh. Just got one of the affixes that just randomly does like three extra damage of other affixes.
All right. I think we're gonna be able to. Maybe we'll be able to do it. I don't know. It depends on how fast we can kill the boss. What are you doing on your barb? 58. Just blood mess, I won't. Well, I just don't want to. Mm. Also, like, how's blood mess gonna save me from like a an instant cast AoE? It's not like if I had used blood mess, like that. Would... What the fuck? I, I don't know what to do. Um, okay, maybe what I can do is I can use this. It has like a max life. So I'll use this, and it'll give me like 500 more life, and that'll help. This also has max life on it too. Um, let's get rid of this ring. Ooh, actually that ring gives me my... That's a brutal heart. I don't think I can do that. Oh, fuck. Okay. I don't think we'll be able to do it. I just get instantly uh, killed. Like, there's not even anything I can do. Mm. This is a crazy front attack, but wasn't that. I avoided that. Uh, that went on my minions, it was something else. I don't think I can do it. From 80 plus minion heart from the tunnels? Yeah. I mean, I'm just getting killed by like one, one hit. Read the debuff. 
what do you what what like the debuff makes you take more damage? I, I know how the debuff works. Like what do you, what do you want me to do? Uh Let me go ahead and, and repair. I'll try I'll try a little bit more since I already got two of the areas down. Win favor, my friend. Okay. Teleport to base, it gets rid of the debuffs. Really? Let me see. I mean, I assume they'll probably just come back, right? I guess not. Okay. Yeah, I'll try until this flask runs out. I want to see if I can get the minions back. can't do it. Uh, this is not going to happen. Okay. Uh, let's see. What can I do? I guess maybe I could try to use this ring and it'll give me enough health. Just dodge? What do I dodge? I mean, I... I I can barely even see the mob. Use so much armor, though. I don't lose armor for that. Yeah, I just die in one hit no matter what. Uh, what's even hitting you? You have to drag them out so you can see AoE, it's meant to one shot. Well, if it's meant to one shot you, like, how's a... How's, like, a melee deal with it? Can't face tank? I mean, I wasn't. Like, I, I don't feel like I was face tanking at all. I'm done. I can't do it. Okay. Um, uh. Uh, let's see here. And I need to equip this. This I can sell. Let's nice try. Yeah, it's just I just don't want to deal with it. We had a good run. Do some Altides, get Iron Skin Potion for next attempt. Makes it heaps easier. I just I'm gonna be honest. I just I just don't really give a fuck. Like I it, that's really the way I feel like yeah it's just not fun like I I don't want to fight against mobs that just like 
randomly one shot you and like that's it your your character's just dead instantaneously like what like the minions suck i did it on my barbarian at a lower level like other people are doing it even lower than i am i just it makes me feel like i'm playing the class that's bad and then like whenever i feel like i'm playing a class that's bad i feel stupid for doing it like what's the what what am i doing you should use the seasonal mechanic here You still know how to play Necro? I, I, I don't know. I mean... <laughs> the 10 levels above you seem to be doing good. So, th th this is... I, I, I feel like I, I don't... I don't mind losing to something. Like, you know, for example, like, I've play remnant for like five hours doing a boss until i beat the boss right or elden ring or whatever but like whenever i lose i know what i did wrong and in this game i feel like the only thing i'm doing wrong is playing it so it's like what am i like what am i doing i have the same problem with my necromendium build in the eternal realm once you beat them you realize that it only gets worse yeah. You're underleveled. Well, other people are able to do it at this level, too. Like, so what, right? I mean, like, so if, if I'm underleveled, like, it, it's not about, like, so I, I don't see how that, like, solves, like, so if I'm saying the mechanics are bad and what you're saying is, like, well, just just get a higher level, that way the mechanics won't matter. I, I don't, I mean, I don't really think that's a, that's not really a solution, is it? I did it 54. Yeah, your build is just weak. Yeah, I just, I just don't want to deal with it. Necro has no armor, that's why you need level, it's not barb. There's a lot of people that did it with lower level. With than me as a necro, I don't. I don't really think that's it. I could try it with this elixir, because armor should help, right? But I would lose a lot of life. What should should I try that? Okay, let's let's try it. I mean, I'm gonna stop playing anyway, so like I might as well just give it a shot. Fuck it. Okay. To go around him to get the minions. Okay, here we go. I should have dodged. I mean, I should have I should have dodged. Okay. Hmm. Not getting fortified? Well, who cares? How does fortify change the problem? The mechanics are dog shit. 
Uh, it, it's it's just it's crap. I I don't know what to say. Like, let's say I mean the thing is like yeah, all like what what do you need to do? Like you just get better gear and then you kill it. But like that doesn't solve the problem that like what kind of an affix is it just randomly does a massive burst of damage to you that you can't avoid. Like I I don't I find that's like a, a, that's like a super boring mechanic. It's a shit mechanic. Like, and, and I'm not saying that like it's impossible. But whenever you go up against something like that, it doesn't really feel very fun to beat it. Because you don't feel like you've got like, uh, to, yeah, it's a stat check. Like I, you're not meant to do this at your level. I, I mean, like, I don't know. I feel like I was able to do like what what's the logic between like I'm not able to do it at my level but I was able to clear the other two areas with literally no problem Yeah, I I don't get it. Did everything else? Yeah, I did. It's only the it's those leads. Yeah, what the fuck? Bro, don't be a quitter. So so you want me to like sit there and play a game that that just sucks? Like, why? Why would I do that? Mal yeah, you want me to just sit there and get mad, like, playing a game that's, like, frustrating and not fun? This week took me an hour when I did it as Bone Spear? Yeah. You're being unreasonable? I... Listen, guys. If people think that's good game game design, good gameplay, uh, okay. There you go. That's your game. Have fun. Yep, have, have at it. Very exciting. Players so have masochistic. I mean, like, no, it's not bad. I just, um, I just wish there was something that I could do. Right? Like, a, a like a, I feel like there's, like, well, I know what I have to do, right? I just need to get more gear and get more health to where it won't kill me in one hit. That's it. Like, I don't need to, like, I can't play better. I can't. Uh, you know, have a new strategy. It's like the boss just does an untelegraphed attack that instantly kills you. What are we doing? Upgrade rubies to ask. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying, right? You have to level up. Any different than a gear check in WoW? Absolutely, it's different. It is absolutely fucking lutely different. It's crazy how much people try to compare it to games that they don't understand because they think they have a point. No, in WoW, like, there are certain gear check things, but there are very rarely, like, a, a mechanic that, like, if it hits you, you have to survive, like, a, a baseline stat number. And, like, the times where they had that, they, I think people thought those mechanics sucked. The design is bad? Yeah. I, I think the design... Yeah, I, I think the design is garbage. It, it's just trash design. You're trying to convince 16-year-olds? Yeah. Blood mist it? Well, how are you supposed to blood mist something that happens randomly? Whenever blood mist isn't up all the time. Did you like Moenia? In Elden Ring? I mean, that's, that's a totally different thing. Mr. Infestrian, but it's not the the class is bad. I did it at 53 with infamous build. Wait, so Well this is what I said, right? I don't get why you're mad, because your meme build doesn't work. So so my Where wait, so so you had a it's you have an infinite blood mist build that you just spam the same ability over and over and over that makes you immune to damage. 
but somehow my build where I actually use minions as a necromancer is the one that's a meme? What the fuck? What is this? Just be permanently immune, idiot. Oh my god. Oh god. This boss is like V rising. Yeah, it's just like it's not skill based at all. Oh wow. Well, half of his necro minion a meme build? Well, it is now. Yeah. When the chat says wrong for not playing the best build on whatever class, yeah. You have 2k life, you want bosses to do a percentage based health. Use defensive aspects to get more health. Um... I guess a lot of people aren't very smart. And then it's okay. So, whenever I feel like a game is challenging, is whenever there are abilities that you can be good at the game, <laughs> and it makes it easier. You can't be good at taking damage. You're not good at that. It just happens. It, it's silly. Mm. There was one counter to bad game. So yeah, it's... I feel like, you know, for example, somebody can beat... <sighs> Somebody can beat Elden Ring at level 1. And it's like, you know what? Maybe if I sat there and I beat my head against the wall for like an hour, maybe I'd probably beat it. Maybe I would. But I don't feel like it. Yeah, I... I I just, like, that happens to me and it just demotivates me from playing. Fundamental issue is you're expecting the game to allow skill expression. The game just simply isn't designed with that level of depth. Yeah, there's no skill express. Like, if, for example, the boss did some bullet hell thing where I had to avoid an attack or he did, like, some sort of animation. But, like, look. Let me see if I can pull it up. Here we go. I, I didn't even see what happened. Like... <laughs> what are you doing? What is that? I'm at full health too. I, I could he wasn't even on my screen. I I just what is this? How is this how is it so bad? You're fifteen I'm finding so many mods get what you're annoyed, but yeah, it's gonna mess you up. Bro, are you dumb? Are you fucking stupid? I'm getting killed by something that's not even on my screen. I can't even see the mob. And it instantly hits me for my full health. Like, why are people saying that this is anything other than fucking garbage? I, what what is wrong with people? It's it's fucking garbage. Like what are we doing? God, it, it's just like yeah, chat's baiting. I I bet they. I hope so. Oh my god.
This guy was getting killed off screen, yeah. Compare this to Searing Exarch, yes. Yeah, I feel like I'm taking crazy pills if people think this is good. Well, let's watch it again. Here we go. go I'm going for content you're under level for your positioning is terrible yeah it's the game's fault okay oh, I just... oh god okay I mean I don't I, 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 what what do I what do I say Yeah, I, I, I don't even know what to say. Just say even if done half the damage, it's still a bad mechanic. Yeah, it is. I just... Oh, God. You didn't see the telegraph that happens to be a pixel the size of a gnat's cock? Yeah. How are people defending this dog shit game? I don't know what to say. You compare Diablo 4 to PoE every step of the way. How many times do you get killed by one-shot mechanics in PoE? It actually doesn't happen that often that you get killed by things that you literally can't see because they're off the screen in one hit that aren't telegraphed in, in PoE. Like, it, it actually doesn't happen. bullshit well which which mob does it incineration steering exarch so you're comparing a boss ability that has a charge animation and a voice line attached to it with a cast time of about three seconds you're comparing that to this Oh my god. People are so dumb, holy shit. Why can't you agree to disagree? Because it's not an agree- it, it's not a disagreement. It's just that people- People use examples that aren't even real. Like, it-, it they're- they're, they're, it's like they're trying to counter me with something that doesn't happen. Yeah, it's just crazy. Getting killed off screen isn't fun. Yeah, I know. Chat's gaslighting you so hard, you're not wrong. Legion mobs will one-shot you off screen. Oh yeah, the spear thrower guys? Yeah, they're awful. Hmm. I don't know if the spear thrower guys still do that or not. I think it can only happen on Sirius. Yeah, and everybody agrees that's bad. That's the difference, is like, whenever people are like, oh yeah, is it cool to get off-screened by a die beam from Sirius whenever you're running back if you die? No, it's not. Nobody thinks that's fun. Yeah, I don't know what to say. It's resistance is, is the issue. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it was frost damage. It's not gaslighting. Some is this the same mentality that happens with Blizzard games for some reason. As I said, gamers love, absolutely fucking love, to overcome bad game design and think that makes it, it and think that that makes the game good. Oh, well, I was able to beat it. Oh, I could beat it. So that means it's good. No, I could beat it too, for sure. Definitely, I just get more gear, get more health, come back, kill it. A hundred percent. 
Absolutely, I could. Just... Jesus. Jesus. All right. Sign in the boss, yeah. Uh, we saw these idiots having more health is not a skill, yeah. How are people saying it's th that it's like this in a Souls game? The reason why they're saying that is because they've never played a Souls game. That's the reason. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they beat Dark Souls 1 once. We will have disagreeing with me. I mean, as I said, you know, I've, I've said before, and I'll say again, if you make excuses for bad game design, you get a bad game. That's all there is to it. And that's what they get. Is every game supposed to be a Souls game where you can't beat the last boss at level 1? I, th I think that it's something that... I think the player should have some agency as to whether they get hit by most mechanics. Yeah. I, I feel like whenever I can't... I can't avoid something, and it just kind of, like, happens to me, I don't feel good about that. Like, I never feel good if I can beat the, like, the, the stat check... It's just never really a good feeling to be able to do that. It's just, un yeah, it's unavoidable damage that just serves as a stat check. And, and, and also, like, I feel like the frustration wouldn't be as bad if I didn't think of it in this context. Okay, so what kind of damage killed me? Obviously, it was frost damage, right? Well, what mitigates frost damage? Resistances. That don't work. Ah. Oh, God. What are we doing? What is this? Is there no excuse to this? There's no excuse. Absolutely not. Yeah. I think you're overanalyzing it. I don't think so. Yeah, I actually, I don't think that I'm overanalyzing it. And again, look, people have said many, many times that, like, how many people have been off-screened by one of those, like, uh, skeleton archer guys, like, off-screen at, like, a high-level nightmare dungeon? It's just, it's just trash. It's trash. Why, why even, why even pretend like it's not? These guys would defend crashing in a racing game. Yeah, I know. Definitely been hit by him, and it's annoying as fuck. Yeah. You can see the blast, but it's easier to dodge. You have to stay because you're pets. He attacks you, and you get hit from afar. There's two blasts. There's the frost blast from his, uh, from his affix, and there's the blast from his frontal cone. The frontal cone af- the frontal cone animation is trash, and you can't really tell what they're doing. They just, like, stop moving for a second. And the other frost attack is literally completely untelegraphed because it's an affix. So even if you were right, you'd still be wrong because there'd be another mechanic that's completely separate from that that does the exact same thing. Like again, like I, I, I 
If people think that getting off-screened by mechanics constantly in this game, being zoomed in massively to where you can't see what's going on, dying to unavoidable targeted damage that's literally just a stat check, if this is your idea of a good game, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm very sorry to hear that. Ugh. I hate this game. I hate trash on fair game design. That's what I hate. And that's what Diablo 4 has. It's all there is to it. Oh, God. Last Epoch? Yeah, I probably should. Uh, I'm not sure really when I'm going to do that or not. Uh, I probably should do it kind of soon. I don't know. You check the Diablo 4 user score. I feel like the Diablo 4... I feel like it's probably Diablo 2 now, right? Yeah, I'm not even sure. <laughs> Jesus, um... The worst part is it all seems unintentional, like they don't even know it's a thing, so it won't get fixed. Yeah. I think it's fine because they don't lose anything dying, it's not like PoE whenever you lose experience. It's just bad game design, people don't care dying in a game. One of the most important things is to survive. Yeah, I think so too. Imagine any other developer failing to make a working resistance system on a released game. $70, by the way. And gaslighting players by pushing fixes into later seasons as if that's acceptable. Yep. Uh. There you go. Like you playing then? I'm not playing. I'm done. <laughs>